The Hispanic Chamber of Commerce says nearly half of small businesses in Austin cannot provide health insurance for their employees. And that leaves thousands of families without coverage. But some local groups are getting together. They're trying to come up with a solution to those pricey premiums. Fox 7's Carrie Bellicosa joins us live to tell us more about what they have in mind. Carrie? Well, Catherine, about 17% of Central Texans don't have health insurance, even though the majority of them do have jobs. Well, the problem is too expensive for their employers. It's expensive for taxpayers, too, because these uninsured families are waiting to get health care. A lot of them are flooding emergency rooms like the one behind me. Well, that's where the Indigent Care Collaboration comes in. It's a group of uh, small businesses and local health care professionals all trying to come up with a solution to this expensive health care. But first, they're turning to you for some input. Teachers at the Trinity Child Development Center spend countless hours caring for the 28 little ones enrolled here. Show them what you got. But they're wondering when will they get the care they need. We have some basic philosophies and values of the whole center, and that's to establish a healthy lifestyle. And it's hard to do that when your employees don't have health insurance. Since 1964, this preschool has served low-income families. The money the business gets from tuition doesn't allow the school to provide employee health care. Most of the women are certainly our mothers. Many of them are single moms uh, who have children who also have a problem with health insurance. Mr. Charles has been a male role model here for seven years. He had to take a second job in order to be covered. And apparently this small business isn't alone in the fight for affordable health insurance because the cost of medicine and the cost of care is, is, is rising as we speak, you've got to have that in order to be competitive. Several community groups like the Greater Austin Hispanic Chamber of Commerce are stepping in. They want business owners and health care providers to take a survey so they can come up with a more affordable plan. There's a number of, uh, uh, of organizations that have teamed up together under this initiative here to try and make that happen. It's time. These teachers sure think so, and so do the thousands of local employers who can't afford to insure their workers. And if you want to say in developing this affordable health care packages for a package, I should say for these small businesses, go over to myfoxaustin.com and we're going to send you to that survey and you can take it and have your input. By the way, this uh, collaborative group hopes to negotiate a solution to expensive health care costs uh, very soon so that Austin can compete with other cities when it comes to good paying jobs and benefits. Catherine. Thank you, Carrie. We appreciate that.